Hi everyone, welcome. In our last lesson we learned the verb to believe in Spanish, which is creer, and we learned how to conjugate it in the present tense. Let's review the verb first and its pronunciation, which is very important before we go to the new part of the lesson. If you want to say in Spanish, I believe, it's yo creo. Notice there's two syllables, so cre and o. Creo, creo. There's The emphasis is on the first syllable, creo. Tu crees, you believe. Remember, this is the informal you, so the stress is on this first syllable. Crees, be sure to get the two e's in separate syllables. Crees, crees. You believe, the formal you. Usted cree. Again, two syllables, stress on the cre. Cree, cree. He believes, él cree. She believes, ella cree. We believe, nosotros creemos. Creemos. So there are three syllables here. The first one is the cre. And the stress is going to shift over to this middle syllable. So creemos, creemos. The last syllable is the mos. So again, stress right here. Creemos, creemos. We believe. You believe, this is the informal you, plural, in Spain. Creéis, creéis. So there are two syllables here. Cre and eis. So the stress is on this syllable because we have the written accent mark. So creéis, creéis. Vosotros creéis, or just simply creéis, you believe. Finally, we have you believe, the plural you, ustedes creen. Stress on the cre, two syllables, cre and en, stress on the cre. Creen, ustedes creen. They believe, ellos creen, and ellas creen. Okay, so that's creer in the present tense. And remember, if you want to ask a question, all you have to do is invert the subject pronoun and verb word order. So that means that the crees would come first and then the tu. So tu crees, you believe. If I want to ask the question, do you believe, it would be crees tu, crees tu. You could also leave out the tu because of the ending. We know that the subject is tu. So this question can simply be crees, do you believe? Okay, the usted cree, you believe, becomes cree usted. Usted cree, cree usted. Vosotros creéis, you believe. If you want to ask the question, do you believe, it would be creéis vosotros. Or you could simply leave out the vosotros and just say creéis. Finally, we have ustedes creen, you believe. The question would be creen ustedes. And the ellos creen, they believe, creen ellos. So remember, we use creer with certain expressions. For example, to believe in something is creer en. And my question here is, how do you make this a question? How do you ask the question, do you believe in miracles? Remember to use inversion. So verb first, and then the subject pronoun. And the question is, crees tú en milagros? Do you believe in miracles? We could simply say crees en milagros. Of course, you know that you don't need to use the tú because the ES ending tells you that the subject is you. So the simple question is, crees en milagros? Do you believe in miracles? That's it for this lesson. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful, I would appreciate it very much if you give it a like. To continue learning, click on the video that appears here on your screen to go to the next lesson. See you soon. Hasta pronto.